Well, 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 how the mighty have fallen, how the mighty Alabama Crimson Tide have fallen. I'm here to collect receipts based on a video I made back in February where I said that Alabama would not continue its rich winning history that was under Nick Saban with new head coach Kalen DeBear, and it is showing. The beginning of the end for me with the Crimson Tide was how Georgia almost came back and beat them. Alabama got really lucky. They scored with 45 seconds left. Had that high-powered offense, but that's the thing. That's all Kalen Dobear brings to Alabama is a high-powered offense. Go back to uh to the Washington Michigan game. That high-powered offense got them there. But they had Washington had no defense at all. And when they go up to with the team, go up against a team that has a defense and a really good offense, it's a wrap. It's not happening. It's going to be an automatic loss. I, I, I consider George an outlier. And you think, and you know what, this is where Alabama missed it. Nick Saban, yeah, he had a high-powered offense. Running backs, wide receivers, offense alignment to help out with the run game. Quarterbacks, all first-rounders, NFL but he also had an elite defense, defensive linemen, cornerbacks, safeties, linebackers, edges, all first rounders in the NFL. Unreal. That is the key to a rich winning program. And that's why he won a lot of national championships at Alabama. Kalen Dober does not bring that. And again, the beginning of the end, the writing on the wall was... Their big struggle, I mean, they've been kind of struggling all season, but their big struggle of defense against Georgia, they almost lost that game. They got lucky. And then they really struggled against South Carolina. Got really lucky with that as well. But the luck ran out. Don't get me wrong, I picked Alabama to win that game, but I I was wrong, and I... I I really wish I didn't against Tennessee. They went up against a team who had a good defense and a good offense. And the same thing that happened has been happening with Kalen DeBear is the high-powered offense just it ran out. No defense at all. Jalen Milrow is not it. And it's it's not, you know, it's not even I mean, it is midseason, and they already have two losses. They're not going to the playoffs, and they are definitely not going to the SEC championship game. Hold on, Alabama fans. You're in for a long ride because this is going to be the norm. It's not going to get better. Kalen LeBear has brought his, his scheme, high-powered offense, no defense, to an SEC conference that is defensive-minded, also offensive-minded, but really good defense. It's just not going to work. And you're going to notice a big fall-off after this year and year after that. You're also going to notice a big fall-off with recruiting. It's going to rub off with recruits. Those, those, uh, those elite edges, those elite defenders that they used to get, it's not going to happen. Yeah, I mean, maybe they'll, they'll still get... Uh, Elite wide receivers and quarterbacks and, you know, maybe running backs. But that's about it. The, it's it's going to be like, it's going to be Alabama football, pre-Nick Saban, not even relevant. You guys, it, it, it's going to get worse. It, it is. One more thing. I'm probably going to get dogged on by Alabama fans for these statements. But if you've been really, if you've really been paying attention to the games... And you go back to the video that I made back in February on Buckeyes about to cry. And you're really paying attention to this video, actually taking in what I'm saying. You know I'm right. It's over. The mighty Alabama Crimson Tide is no more.